Hello everyone, my name is Arsh Kutela. I'm a functional consultant with Western Computer. And today I'm gonna to show you a quick video on how you can import credit card transactions. For those who are kind of on the fence on whether to use the expense management module within Dynamics 365, one of the really nice features is that if you have employees who use company credit cards, they don't need to rekey all their expenses into the system. You can do that with an import functionality, and that's what we're gonna to cover today. So to start, we have to do one piece of setup, and that is under the employee record. See here, I'm gonna look at myself. And we'll go here under the expense tab, you can go to credit cards. And this is where you assign which credit cards a user has. So you can see I have two of them. I have card ID 9941, which is an Amex, and 9942, which is a Visa. My payment method is credit card. And so this is the only piece of setup that you need to do. The second piece you need to do is get your file ready. So whether it's daily, weekly, monthly, however frequently you wanna do it, you need to put a file together. And a file is very, very basic. And so all you need is the date that the transaction occurred, the amount in the credit card currency. You can also do this in the national currency if you so choose, the card number, and let me just update it. So this was 9941, the card type, and then a unique ID. And every credit card transaction will always have a unique transaction number. So you just copy that in here and then your currency. So once you have that, you save your file and then you can go into the expense management tool. So I'm gonna go into expense management. Under periodic tasks, I have credit card transactions. Here I can click import. Now this utilizes the data management framework. The entity is already picked. So I will say CC import of 9 September, and I'll say my format is Excel. Down below, I'm gonna choose my file, and I'm gonna let it map. And this will just take a second. And then what I do is I go ahead and I click import now. If you have a large file, you can use this import so it runs on the batch server meaning it doesn't have to run on your own machine. Since I only had one transaction, I'm gonna press import now. And you see we've successfully created one transaction. So if I go back into credit card transactions, I can see we have right here, our Kutiela and the date 101 US dollars. So now I can choose to pull this into an expense report. So when I'm going in and I'm doing my weekly or monthly expense report. I can say new, and I'll go ahead and press okay. And I can say add unattached expenses, and this will list everything. Now I did automatically default in a category of meal, that is our default expense category, but of course I can override that. So I can say this was actually a hotel charge, and that's fine. And there we go. Now you can attach your receipts and then you can go ahead and press submit. So I'm just gonna save, submit, and now this will go through my normal workflow process. So a really handy feature, you can have more than one card in here and each employee will get their own and then they will be able to attach it onto their own expense reports. Thank you, I hope you enjoyed the video.